witnessing this being history. By far the most entertaining thing we've seen on the show, yeah, no question. I was shocked, I didn't even know what to do. I was shell shocked from the beginning to the end of your performance. Never before has one being created such a buzz. We reminded you of how magic music can be. That probably is what a lot of people are missing in the industry. Can you handle it? Are you ready for the dog buzz? <laughs> You know, he got some Beastie Boy in him, and he can rap. I'm absolutely blown away by this. I think it's incredible. Every dog has its day. Will this be ours? Have you seen us right now? Are you impressed? Are you impressed? Yes, that's what I thought. Don't bust in the house! Thousands of would-be's. Few that could be. Some bands will kill it. Most bands will die. This is Disband. Sorry, that's that's a little bit out of tune. Ah. Hey, I'm Jules McCools. <laughs> there you go. I'm one part of the manic musical duo Dog Bus. This is what we all about, yo. 12 Red Bulls, we're about to do this it. This is what we do. This is Jakey McSpanky. I know how to crank it. We're brothers, literally. Not just gangster brothers. But serious. This is a robot, Galacticon. You're not cool, you're not cool. You know what, never mind, more on him later. When we get together making beats and rhymes, we transform into the awesome musical wonder known as Dog Bus. Dog Bus in the house! Yo, this is our beat laboratory. Mm, that's how we do it! This is where the magic happens. The origins of Dog Bus are top secret and shrouded in mystery. <laughs> Actually, it's a simple story. When I was like five, I had the shirt that had a bus full of dogs on it, so. And I, I just loved it. I just loved the shirt so much, so I just decided to make her name Dog Bus. Dog Bus at the Reaper, baby! Yeah, yeah. We've been into music since pretty much we were born, because uh, our dad owns a club here, the Starlight. Check it out. And uh, we were like raised just going to shows and stuff, uh, like always seeing music and stuff, like indie bands like that. I used to have piano lessons for like Me too. four years. I took guitar lessons for like two weeks. It was, it was kind of too boring. I didn't like any of the stuff I was doing. So after I found out the chords, I just taught myself how to do everything else, like the solos, all that stuff. I just taught myself. Uh, we write our beats either on the keyboards, but sometimes he'll be making a sweet drum beat and we'll just record it on here. Sometimes I'll be making a sweet guitar riff, we'll record it on here. This is the beat we're working on right now. Ow! I like being the front man. I like all people. I, I like the tension that. on me. On me, pool. baby, me. Blasting band. <laughs> what? Get on the radio, you can't the drinking hands just bring the good times and it brings the good rhymes by me, Jules McCool. <laughs> Pretty much before we got we got to be able to go in the studio, we would just make all of our own recordings and uh, we still do now, so I can I am kind of learn in the ways of producing. Uh, yeah, and I like I like doing it. I like re recording uh, Jakey's vocals and uh, just trying to find the awesomest beats and stuff and the awesomest sounds and stuff. That's all you get. That's all. I'm sorry, but yeah. To quote a Pussycat Doll song, when I grow up, I want to, <laughs> I want to be rich. I want to be a star. Uh, I want to have groupies. When we write our songs, we just write our songs about stuff we love. Robots, unicorns, ice cream, juice boxes, uh, just napping. Willy Wonka, puppies, everything, man, Andy, everything, everything, everything good. We don't write about the streets, because we don't live in the streets, yo. We live in the dog bus, so we live, live in a in bus. I'm in Kitchener, Ontario, at Grand River Collegiate. I heard that there's a band here that they think they have what it takes to impress the judges on this band. I'm gonna go search them out and find out for myself. Let's go dog bus. <laughs> Oh. 
All right, I couldn't find Julian in the hall. He's gotta be in class. So I came to the principal's office, and the principal's gonna page him as though he's in trouble, and I'm gonna be waiting here for him. Julian, get you to yourself to the office now. Julian, don't make me get out of my chair and come looking for you. That's what I do all the time. I don't know, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a rebel, I'm a rebel. This is like fifth time here today already. Just going back. Me and the principal, we're tight, we're like this. <laughs> I've come here because you gotta play in front of a panel of judges and I gotta see what you're made of. So, I'd like you to rap. Can you break dance? I don't know. If you can break dance, this is better. I want you, to, I want you to rap in front of your principal hey, and then uh, I want your true opinion on it. Yo, okay. Yo, 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 I don't nope. condone the drinking I of don't. the beer. Cause after you drink it, you'll be wanting to kiss right here. Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yo, look at this guy. His shirt is striped. He gotta come to me to get his butt wiped. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh, don't expel me, don't expel me. <laughs> <laughs> I think that just passed with flying colors. Yeah. You're you're good. Excellent. You're good. Yes. Check mark. This, this is part thing. A of the test. Okay. There's part B of the test. After I slayed my principal, we headed off to the Starlight to meet Jakey and check out my move. Yeah. The Starlight. The Starlight. Hey. What Jakey, up? Jakey, thank you. Yeah, yeah. The other half of Dog Bus? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been testing what he's made of, how good he really is, nice. just to see if he's ready for Sunday's performance. OK. How do you feel? Good. That's you awesome. You feel confident? Oh, yeah. I now want to see what your whole act looks like. OK. OK? I want to hear, like, three songs. OK. You good? Yep. Let's do it. All right, what song are you starting with? Man Crib. Man Crib? Man, Man Crib it is. Start up with me. Okay. I think that's nine. All right, one, two, three. It's a Man Crib. Yeah, you know how Steve is going to see when this baby band don't come to me. It's a Man Crib. Awesome, man. Yeah, you know how I ride with a sugar in my mouth and a teddy by my side. It's a Man Crib. Man Crib. <laughs> I really like this song. Yeah. I mean, I'll compare it still, but man, it's it's good. Put your hands in the air. Put your hands in the air. Put your hands in the air. This is a day. If you can, just put them up, put them up. Put your hands up, I thought it was like a little bit too cliche, and I scratched that song. Next one's what? Next is hit us up with Robot Man. Robot. Robot, y'all. I wish I had a robot. Uh -huh. That would be so hard. Uh-oh, this is gonna be tough. I was really torn between, um, <laughs> between Man Crib, which is a, which is a song about uh, a man that sleeps in a crib, and Robot. I'm gonna have to hear the other one again. I love them all. I gotta hear the first one again. Yeah, can we do that? Yo, yo, it's a Man Crib, Man Crib. Okay. No, come on. Sleeping in my Man okay. Crib, hand on the trigger. It's like Okay, sorry. Now, sorry I'm doing this, but give me Robot one more time now. They're both, they're both club bangers, but Robot gets stuck in your head and lets us bring out more energy and dance moves to the table. This is the one. If I had a robot. This is the one. The Robot song is just instantly catchy from the beginning to the end. You got your rap, you got your dancing, you got your moves. I thought, how can you go wrong with that? Congratulations! You're the next contestants on this band. Yeah, total of gold, Jacob speaking, capital G. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> I'm absolutely blown away by this. This is probably one of the most fun days I've had on this band. Those kids are unbelievably amazing. I think this is actually going to launch their career. I wouldn't be surprised if a label pops up sniffing around the dog bus. Oh, it's getting gangster in here. Are you nervous? Um, a little bit now. <laughs> <laughs> so what did you think of that performance? Sarah, I thought it was horrible. 